Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? John here. I missed you guys. It's been so long. I hope all of you guys have been doing well. Um, I've been away from social media for a little bit, especially Twitter and YouTube. Uh, just been spending the last month, maybe last two months, really trying to to, to reshuffle my life and, and try and figure things out and, and better myself and repair myself in, in many ways. Uh, been spending most of my time, <clears throat> most of my time, excuse me, most of my time after work, just studying and, and, and going to the gym and working out and I haven't been really going out as much. So I've been pretty much spending time either alone or with my, my, my friends that are gym partners or study partners or whatever. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm definitely trying to get back into it. Uh, I've been actually editing a Paris vlog. It is currently two two ten here in New York, uh, that's probably awful because I have work tomorrow and I need to get up super early and I'm going to definitely regret this, but screw it. Uh, I wanted to make this video. So here we are. Um, yeah, so I'll, um, I'm definitely trying to get back into the swing of things. The YouTube, uh, the YouTube video, it's not a Paris vlog per se. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I went on a solo travel trip to Paris and I, I hadn't really intended on shooting a vlog. I just kind of wanted to really relax and soak in the city and absorb every single minute and every single detail of that city but uh I, sh I ended up shooting so many like little video clips that i was like you know what let me just put these into a little compilation and we'll call it like a, a pseudo vlog or a faux blog or whatever you want to call it so that's coming to you guys soon you guys can stay tuned for that one not too exciting but it's 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 something special to me i always wanted to share with you guys uh, my experience there so um you guys can stay tuned for that uh, but this video is actually in reference to something that you guys have been asking me for quite some time. Um, and it's actually in reference to those things right there. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know or those of you who don't know by now, I, I'm, I'm pretty big into sneakers. I, I, I love I've only gotten into them very recently. Uh, my brother and all my friends near, around me, my close friends have been super, super hard into the sneaker game. They've been sneakerheads since we were like elementary school kids, you know, and, and I was never really a big sneaker guy, but recently now that i've been working and and been feeling a little bit more comfortable about spending money on my own uh for myself i was like you know what why not buy a few pairs and i ended up just falling in love with it uh i've definitely i definitely calmed down a little bit now and i'm, I'm focusing a little bit more on trading and, and with respect to maybe selling a little bit more emphasis to selling shoes uh but those are obviously a little bit more of my my core essentials. Uh, those are those are going to be hard for me to flip. But I actually have four pairs in front of me. You guys will see them very soon, and I'm going to be selling them or getting rid of them. And I thought, you know what? Let me let me just film something really short and see what you guys think. Uh, so I've been hesitant on on shooting sneaker and fashion apparel related content because first of all, a I am not fashionable at all. Uh, I'm my my body type is freaking awful you guys know i have the thickest legs out there so it is hard for me to really dress with with the really with the real dope cuts with, with respect to pants and the outfits and whatnot and i'm a big ass dude so it's a little bit harder and i'm not saying that as an excuse i'm just not fashionable at all so um i was a little bit hesitant and on top of that i have so many dope super fashion killer friends around me and model friends around me uh so I was like, you know what? There's plenty of dope people on YouTube that does sneakers, so that's not my game. But if you guys have been interested and you guys have been asking me to share a little bit about my life, so I was like, you know what? Why not? Let me just let me just let you guys in on a little bit of these. So uh, I'll just discuss a little bit about the four pairs in front of me. Ta -da! Yeah, so it's these four pairs right here. Um, this is the Nike Air Force One Low. What the NYC? This is the Kawhi New Balance omnis or, or the omnis ones whatever you like to call it and those two are the nike off-white vapor mat sorry vapor street um uh yeah so i'll just discuss them one at a time um starting with this one um this one is obviously as i mentioned is the air force one what the new york or what the nyc um recently a few weeks ago nike dropped this pair alongside the what's the la air force ones um uh, an homage to both of the respective cities and uh i have to say these were super dope i'm actually very i'm actually kind of upset i'm flipping i'm actually upset that i'm i decided to let these go um but i you know i just i have so many pairs of shoes i don't really want to hoard things like that so these are leaving me unfortunately but these are absolutely gorgeous i think these are one of, going to be one of the collector's items for sneakerheads or, or, or shoe collectors anywhere around the world because 
Right now, these are sitting around 250 to 300 resale value, but I guarantee you in a few years' time, this is going to go up significantly, and, and I'm definitely going to sit here regretting it. But anyways, um, for those of you guys who haven't noticed, um, these each sort of each foot, each shoe has a uh, different color color scheme behind it. This one obviously has a little bit more of the, the orange toe box and the, the blue on the side. And this one with a green, greenish, I don't even know what this is, like a felt kind of uh, material. It's definitely not leather. Maybe it is, maybe it's distressed leather, I'm not really sure. As you guys can see, I'm not technically uh, gifted with respect to sh a sneaker build and whatnot. So don't expect a Seth Fowler or a freaking Jock Spade jock slade video but uh yeah so you guys can obviously tell that these colors are different and 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 for those of you guys who haven't caught onto it by now these these colors are an homage to the sporting organizations in new york city um most notably the orange and the uh, the orange and the blue with respect to the new york knicks as well as the new york mets um and you guys can also notice the red here in 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 in, in conjunction with the blue as a reference to uh, some of the giants colors that are being used uh, there's also colors of the Brooklyn Nets and, 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 you know, these colors are all an homage to New York City uh, and the sporting organization. So, uh, so this is a color. I, I guarantee that this pair is going to be a collector's pair. This is an absolutely gorgeous shoe. And although the resale might not be as aggressive as some of the other, you know, high resale value shoes, this is definitely going to be one for the history books. And uh, I really love these. I'm a little bit gutted that I'm, I decided to flip these, but whatever. Moving on. This is the Kawhi Leonard New Balance Omnis or Omnis Ones, whatever you guys want to call it. This is his basketball, signature basketball shoe. Um, only up until recently, these were acquirable because prior to this colorway, maybe one more colorway before that, um, these were actually very, very hard to get. Uh, New Balance made it very exclusive and they made a very low stock count and it was almost impossible to get your hands on these for retail. And uh, I managed to cop these for retail super dope super clean um i love watching basketball related uh content because i i love basketball as much as i love uh, i love football um and uh unfortunately i'm not that gifted in terms of the technology behind the shoe um so i i actually want i actually was going to wear these play in them and do my first ever performance wear review but i ended up just flipping them because i didn't want to just let it sit there and and, and take up space um and I might, I might regret that one as well, but you know what? Whatever, screw it. Um, I really like the gum sole here with the, with the, with the speedy New Balance grippy feel here. It's kind of a fire shoe. I mean, this, this is so dope. Uh, it's just kind of, it's kind of one of those shoes where like, I don't even want to play in them because I, I just kind of want to hold on to these. They're just so clean. I don't. I, I, the color balance is awful on my camera right now, and I don't know if it's doing it justice. I have a yellowish hue here, but it's actually very bright and very white. And um, I think the 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 light sort of tan khaki leather brown finish here is is a absolutely spot on decision by the New Balance team to make that because I think this is so dope. Um, and I'm a little bit upset that I'm not going to be able to wear them and try them on uh, as I'm going to be flipping them. But, yeah, no, these are fire. Uh, if you guys can get your hand, hands on any of these, let me know. And if you guys ever, uh, tr ever try them on and, and you know, perform in them, please let me know because I, 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 I regret selling these two. But, anyways, moving on. Kawhi, we'll talk to you all later. Kawhi is actually one of my, Kawhi is actually one of my most favorite basketball players of all time. Um, I just think he's so freaking funny. Um, you guys know me. I'm, I'm I'm a guy for banter and I'm a guy for uh, you, know, you know positivity and funniness and whatnot. And and Kawhi is one of the more quiet dudes. And every time he opens his mouth, it's just something funny. It's just like he doesn't even talk and it's funny. His laugh is funny. What it do, baby? It's funny. Like it's just the dude is so funny. Um, and top that obviously, obviously topping all that with this incredible, tremendous basketball talent. So um. I'm definitely going to be getting my uh, getting a pair of these maybe in a different colorway sometime in the near future, but not right now. Uh, so moving on, we're going to finish off the video with this pair. Uh, these two pairs, obviously two of the same shoes, just in different colorways. It's the Nike Off-White Vapor Street. Now, Vapor Street was a, um, was a shoe that was designed initially for running slash casual wear. Um, for those of you who don't know, what Virgil Abloh and Off White did is they kind of took inspiration from track and field, uh, and I don't know if you guys can catch that, but let me actually see if I, you guys can catch that. 
as you guys can see, the spike here, the spikes are very aggressive. I threw videos and whatnot. I thought it was going to be pretty, um, what you, what you would call it? I thought it was going to be rather uh, soft or maybe a little bit more rubbery, but it's actually pretty tactile and, 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 and hard. And, and I have to say, it's very bizarre. I mean, Nike and Off White collabed recently on many shoes, and for those of you who don't know, this is their least, this is their most latest collab, and um, they also have a, a Nike SB Dunk collab uh, coming out soon. But Nike and Off White have been doing events that sort of have been highlighting the fact that these shoes are an homage or an ode or or meant for track and field or running uh, in particular. And I, I gotta say, it's, it's very bizarre. I mean, the design in particular. Let's look at this black one here first. This, I, I, I love the, I love the, col I love the combination between the black and the vault pink. I think this is an off, this is a, an absolutely amazing colorway sort of combination play going on here. But the thing that really bothers me is this plastic, this plastic thing here. I don't know if you guys can catch that, but this plastic is just pure weirdness. My room has this yellowish hue, so you guys might not you guys might see this in a more yellowish like weird tint, so I apologize for that, but um it's it's just a clear translucent plastic and it sort of goes all over the shoe. And it's I'm not the biggest fan of it. It just it just kills the vibe. I mean like they definitely could have done something different. Um but then again, what what Virgil Abloh was trying to do was do something different, and I guess this constitutes different, quote unquote. It's just not my kind of different. It's definitely interesting. I'll give him that. Um, lots of uh, lots of off white characteristics that are very, very, uh, very, very common. You guys can obviously can tell by the tag. Um, normally, the off white shoes uh, are generally for men's shoes, and they have a. A red tag, but this one is a green tag, and it's got like a velcroy felt finish, um, and I think that's because it's a women's drop. So these are actually women's shoes, um, and I'm a size ten and a half in men's, so uh, I had to get size of twelve for women's. But um, as I mentioned, this the tag is is is, is, a, is an obvious indicator. The the foam exposed. Tongue is also another indicator of off uh, off white Nike collab shoes. Many of the off whites have that, and um, you guys can obviously see the the off white paragraph here. Uh, Vapor Street Beaverton, and and for this one they changed the font here, which is weird. Uh, but I guess you know, like I mentioned, Virgil trying to Virgil trying to be different, whatnot. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna knock on that. But what I am gonna knock on continu continuously is this goddamn plastic. It's just so weird. Um, these two, I still haven't decided whether or not I wanted to flip them. I'm just kind of sitting on this tonight. I'll probably decide tomorrow, but, um, yeah, it's just a little weird. What I do definitely like is this, uh, this additional lacing system. Uh, we first noticed these through the, the pictures for the SB dunks that actually dropped much earlier than these, the, the leaks actually dropped and the SB dunks have this kind of additional lacing system that goes over the original lacing system. And I felt like this was kind of cool. I thought this was a really cool, neat touch. Um, they're not really uniform. They're kind of just all over the shoe and, and, and these little lace holes, these uh, little lace hole accents really uh, add a very nice touch to the, the overall color scheme of the shoe. Uh, it's just this goddamn plastic. If it wasn't there, maybe if it was a different material, it would have definitely been cooler. And I felt like I would have rocked the hell out of these, but, um, I just don't have the fashion sense to be able to pull off something like this. So this is probably going to be a flip. Um, this one as well, uh, I like the concept of the the yellow and the blue. I really like this. I really like this um, collaboration here as well. This this color combination is dope. Uh, it's got more of like a a popsicle orange bottom type finish here with these rubbers, these rubber uh, spikes. And uh, I have to say, they're both kind of cool and they're both kind of not cool. Uh, this plastic is not, it doesn't look as aggressive because I think the yellow pops off a little bit more under this plastic. Um, I don't know. I thought the black would really maybe do a little bit better job, but maybe this plastic is um, thicker. I have no idea. This, you, don't, you, can, you, you really can't tell. And it, I think the plastic here is a little bit more forgiving as opposed to the plastic on this side. So I haven't really decided yet, but both of these, I'm not really leaning towards keeping any of these, but yeah um so that's pretty much it guys um I'm, I'm sorry if i didn't really do each shoe justice i just kind of wanted to share with you guys 
uh, how they looked and, and what I had in my hand as of now. They're probably going to all go to these, they go inside these boxes tomorrow. So you guys are going to say au revoir to these, but uh, au revoir or au revoir or whatever the hell it is. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll be back with some more football slash vlog slash sneaker related content ASAP, I promise. And if you guys have if you guys have any more questions, if you guys have any more concerns about um, content, if you guys have the suggestions, if you guys want to see more shoes, maybe you guys want to see me talk a little bit more about those, one pair at a time, whatever it is, get in the comments. Let me know via Twitter. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go to sleep so that I don't have to regret too much tomorrow. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.